Hey everybody, this is Miss K. Welcome to Miss K Gone Postal. I hope you're having a great hump day. It's just, it's just, you know, it's a beautiful fucking day. It's springtime. Why are we stuck here at work, y'all? Why, why, why? But anyway, I decided to come today to give y'all a little information. It's been slow lately. Nothing really been going on. Same shit, different day. You guys know how it is. Nothing real popping. It's the same crap. Shit stuck here, shit stuck there, shit backlogged everywhere. But today, the Postal Service has made, well, actually, it was yesterday, if I'm not mistaken. They made an announcement in regards to the price of the stamps. Yeah, they going up. So, the price of stamps, um, the postage, is going to be going up starting in July. And I got a little cheat sheet, y'all, because I wrote down some notes. Let me put on my radars, okay? So, starting in July, um, it's going to be um, effective July 14th, I believe. That is going to go into effect so um the price of postage will be going up so it's going to probably be raised the prices to like about 7.8 percent and they're doing this in order for that allegedly this is part of the 10 year the joy make the post office great again plan right okay so what's going to happen is letters metered letters International postcards are all going to be going up. What will not change, you guys, is the P.O. boxes. So P.O. box rentals, if you guys have a P.O. box at your local um, station, at your plant, whatever, those prices, those rental prices will not be going up. But the other prices will. So I'm going to tell you what it is. So letters currently right now is $0.68. Cents. So they're looking at going to $0.73. Cents. That's planned. Um, metered letters is 64 cents and they're going to raise it to 69 cents right so international postcards and international letters are a dollar 55 and they're looking to raise it to a dollar 65 okay so remember this is right now allegedly proposed that um it's going to go up because remember it was given to the um commission the commission has to review the changes before they take effect but pretty much in legalese bullshit speak it's probably already going to pass anyway so remember the ups usps has to notify the postal regulatory commission um about them raising now if you pay attention in the joy's plan every year stamps are going to go up every single fucking year you know no more than 22 cent or how shit when i was a kid not even you know how it's okay about telling her age 19 cents and shit that's how much it was every year now with this new plan of the joys it's going to go up more and more so because they're raising the cost of stamps they're saying that this is supposed to be you know the adjustments being made in the prices of stamps is supposed to help with the financial stability of the 10-year the plan really did we just have a, a fucking um a status report just last week saying that we lost ten billion dollars? Really? That we haven't earned any money? Seriously? The fuck out of here. Like, what the fuck? And so you really want the American public to sit here and say, okay, now you call yourself doing all these changes. You call yourself trying to allegedly make the post office great again, but you you raising stamps. Grandma and grandpa who buy stamps by the book because young people don't. The old people buy the fucking stamps by the book. Shit, my late mom did that shit. I'm like, lady, why you buy stamps by the book? Come on now. Pay for that shit online. You're now cutting into their money because remember, a lot of y'all know a lot of people, a lot of older people, they put into their budget for the cost of stamps. And they usually go buy a book. You've seen it. Publix, Piggly Wiggly. I don't know where y'all at. Save right, shop right, whatever. Aldi's. They're buying stamps by the book. So if you're budgeting $20 for a stamp of books, now what are you budgeting now for? $30, $40? That's a hit for an older person. That's a big fucking hit. So these alleged changes, which are supposed to happen in July right is going to affect allegedly us to get more money but you're affecting the american consumer who has to pay for this and it may not sound like a lot of a lot of money but a couple of cents 
makes a big difference, especially in this economy with inflation being a motherfucker. But whatever. I wanted to give y'all that information. Also, I wanted to discuss with you guys, too, about the blue boxes, the blue collection boxes, right? Now, I don't know if where you are, if you're working at a plant or you work at a station. Like at my plant, we have customer service in the front. So it's a it's fairly big state, a big plant. And if you work at a station, you know the blue boxes outside for collection. Or if you just go to the post office and you drop your shit off or whatever. So as of the summer, and it's actually started right now, but summer is when it's going to become completely in effect. We're no longer doing certain delivery, a pickup uh, collection times from the blue box. So it used to be like two or three times a day, someone would go out there, collect from the blue box and bring it into the building. We're only doing one collection a day. Now, this means that that one collection a day has to get on the truck and go to the plant for processing. If it doesn't make it, it sits at the location, at the station, wherever it's at. Now, also too, if you guys have not noticed or noticed, because a lot of us, you know, who work for the postal service, we don't, we don't mail shit. We, we just be like, whatever. But if you go into the customer service side of your station or your plant, you will notice there are no blue boxes anymore, right? Some of y'all may have not even paid attention. And it just came to my attention just yesterday because I had to send somebody to go out to go collect. And I was told there are no more blue boxes. Huh? I don't go up front. I ain't know about that. So now we have the kiosks. So now you have blue box kiosks because, of course, the postal service was saying that they're trying to combat the theft of blue boxes. So y'all know during the season, motherfuckers be skimming and they be taking wire hangers with some shit attached to the bottom and they go in the box to pull out mail. Yeah, baby. They be doing all types of crazy ass shit during the holidays because they want money. They want whatever is in there. So to deter theft, particularly at the stations, they have been eliminating blue boxes. Now, there are also newer blue boxes that are coming that's supposed to be more technologically enhanced. But at a lot of places, baby, there are no more blue boxes. They're getting rid of them. I've seen them come on the trucks to our to our slave ship. And they looking like they dead. They just laying there like this. Somebody towing them in. They land on a pallet or they're in a cage because they're no longer going to use it. So now you're eliminating the blue box and bringing kiosk inside. We already have kiosks if you want to buy stamps or if you want to mail something that requires weight or whatever. Those little kiosks have been there forever. They're actually bringing in new updated ones. But now you're getting rid of people just driving and, and dumping off their, their mail. Whatever time of day for their convenience to put in the blue boxes. So now you're eliminating a job. The job is the person who goes out to collect from the blue box. And that's usually a mail handler. Sometimes in certain locations, it's a clerk or it may be a supervisor that may go out there to collect. And you're also saying that you think it's okay to delay the fucking mail because now we're going to one collection of blue box mail a day. And if it doesn't make it on the fucking truck to come back to the station, I mean, to back to the plant, it's missed. It's going to sit there. So you're okay. We're okay with that. Really. Hmm. And these are supposed to be changes that are supposed to enhance and make the post office great again. Really? Okay. But you're also to eliminating another job because if the clerk, mail handler, supervisor goes out to collect from the blue box, it has to come inside. Who's bringing it inside? And then when it comes inside, it has to be processed. Who's processing it? Because it's not being processed if it's sitting back at the station where it was and you're only doing one collection a day. So this is part of the joy's plan. Duh. Does it make sense? I don't know, baby. That's about my pay grade. I honestly don't know. You know. So if you're wondering sometimes why your collection mail has been looking kind of thin lately, it's because we're going to one a day. 
Just one a day. And then we're getting rid of boxes. Like seriously. I hate telling y'all this. I hate saying it because it's, it's like you see it. You just see it in front of you. You can, you can look at it two ways. You can say, ah, the post office is doing all these massive changes. And of course, we're going to go through all these hiccups and shit is just going to, you know, it's going to fuck up until we can get it smoothed out. But you can look at it on the other hand and go, they trying to become Amazon or any other automated business. They don't want human contact. And that's what the postal service, the post office is built on, on fucking human contact. And that's what people, consumers like. There are places that literally have no clerks that work in customer service. They have fucking machines. They're just kiosks everywhere. Yeah, I know sometimes customer service is not that great when you go into the station. Some places, some people are rude. I get it. I understand. But that's what the postal service was built on. Built on that one-on-one -on -one contact. That final, that last leg delivery. That's what we're known for. And now you're taking that away by taking away, you know, one a day collection of blue boxes because we would do it when we did it and whenever it come into the station then it had to go into the truck so it can come here and be processed. They're not doing that. They're cutting that out. And now you want to cut out having contact regular people coming into the post office to speak to an individual, to deal with an individual, to personally hand off something to an individual and give it to a kiosk, give it to a machine. Of course, now you would still have a person. They, they're the ones who have to unload the machine. But how many of those you need? One, maybe two, depending on the size of your station, depending on the size of your customer service. Child. Baby, it's getting serious in these streets. Real serious. You, I mean, there, there are stations that can comment. And put it in the comments below, y'all. If y'all working somewhere and y'all ain't got no more blue boxes, or they moved your collection to once a day, let everybody know what's going on. Y'all think Miss K be making this shit up. I ain't making this shit up. You, this shit, this shit, you can't make up. You can't make this shit up, y'all. You can't. So now we got the rise of stamps this year. And then we got them taking away blue boxes. Then you got them introducing kiosks. Child, what's next? The aliens finna land? Because I'm ready. I got to go. It, it's done got ghetto here. This planet is ghetto, dog. We got to go. We got to go. But hey, like they say, we still got a job, right? We still here. We still working. And hopefully, let's hopefully that all these alleged changes will actually benefit the postal service and the postal worker. We shall see. But anyway, y'all, I just want to give y'all a little bit of that information, give y'all something to chew on today. So hopefully, I, and then no, hopefully, we, it probably will be. So July 14th, there will be new changes in the postal um, rates for mailing letters and this is for an ounce okay i'm sorry guys i forgot to tell y'all this is for one ounce so if it's above over an ounce of course you're gonna pay a little bit more but um so if you're a carrier and you're out here in these streets and somebody asks you about the changes you already know they probably already told y'all but more than likely the post office probably ain't tell you shit so that's going to be going down if they haven't started taking your blue boxes you're going to start seeing that shit because this is a nationwide thing this is not a particular area thing you may get elimination of your complete blue, blue box or you might get the new upgraded one that's supposed to be death deterrent and you may get that one and also still get the kiosk that's going to be inside the stations right so just keep a lookout for that and anything you know miss k find out you know miss k gotta tell y'all because i want y'all to know i need y'all to be up on shit so you can do what put the tools in your motherfucking toolbox and use them so have a great rest of your motherfucking hump day y'all and just keep doing what y'all do. And you know, Miss K love her postal freaks, and Miss and the postal freaks love Miss K. Always remember, love and light. Peace. <laughs>